How did we ever get along before Google Earth? You can find satellite images of almost anywhere on Earth. For example, uh, here is Rockefeller Center, where I am right now. Uh, here's Fenway Park in Boston. Go Sox! Uh, here's the Hoover Dam. Do we have the Hoover Dam? Oh yeah, so cool. Uh, here's another satellite image, courtesy of Google Earth. Check this out. Can we put that side by side with the Hoover Dam so you can see how big this thing is? This is at the same scale here. This thing that's as actually bigger, quite a lot bigger, quite a bit bigger than the Hoover Dam. Uh, this thing is also a dam. Who had the resources and the engineering know-how and the sheer will to build something that big? Was it the Chinese, the Russians? No, it was actually beavers. Uh, Bucktooth, flat-tailed, furry beavers built a beaver dam that is twice the size of Hoover Dam. The mega beaver dam located at the southern edge of Wood Buffalo National Park in northern Alberta in Canada. It stretches more than 2,790 feet across. That's more than half a mile long. More than 1,000 feet longer than the Hoover Dam. Built by beavers. For comparison, the Hoover Dam used 4.4 million yards of concrete and took about 7,000 workers four and a half years to complete. The Great Canadian Beaver Dam was made of sticks and rocks and mud by three-foot-long semi-aquatic rodents. It's been under construction, apparently, since the 1970s. Beaver colonies build dams to provide still deep water to protect themselves against predators and to float food and building material, but they have never built one this big before that anybody knows about. The Canadian Mega Beaver Dam is the biggest one ever. Before now, the longest one anybody knew about was found by biologists near Three Forks, Montana. It measured about 2,140 feet long, built by a bunch of beavers who are now feeling slightly inadequate. Scientists say the beavers built the Canadian dam in an extremely remote and inaccessible place, which means no human interference, which means one big honking dam. It's remarkable what a species can accomplish when you're not killing them to make men's top hats. This dam might have gone undiscovered had an ecologist not found it by accident while trolling Google Earth in 2007. Voila, Beavertopia. Thank you, Google Earth. Thank you, hardworking beavers.